We're now getting a better understanding of just how detrimental North Carolina's bathroom bill has really been for the state's economy as HB2 marks its first anniversary. According to the Associated Press, corporate backlash over the bill, which limited LGBT protections, will cost the state more than $3.76 billion in lost business over 12 years' time. The AP also predicts North Carolina could lose hundreds of millions more with the NCAA threat threatening to freeze out the state as host of championship games through 2022 if it doesn't repeal the law. Shortly after the bill's passage, entertainers, major sporting events, and other companies all pulled out of the state. PayPal, who was looking to build a facility, scrapped its plans over the law, costing the state an estimated $2.66 billion. On the federal level, back in February, the Department of Education withdrew guidelines enacted by President Obama, which had urged schools to let transgendered students Students use the restroom of their choosing or risk losing federal funding. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos defended the decision as an example of government overreach. But in North Carolina, lawmakers are no doubt taking note of the loss in revenue. Republican legislators and the newly minted Democratic governor have been gridlocked over a repeal. Now lawmakers are considering making changes to help rein in the damage.